As at 8 a.m. today, several communities in North Trinidad began receiving their water supply from the Water and Sewage Authority, WASA. Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez gave an update during the North Central Regional Health Authority's National Weekend of Prostate Screening. On Tuesday, customers experienced a disruption in their water supply as there was a leak on the 48-inch diameter transmission pipeline at the Karani Water Treatment Plant. The line was repaired on Thursday, but the distribution of water to customers in North Trinidad needed to be slowed down as a seepage of water was discovered after the line was cast. I anticipate that out of the 200,000 citizens that have been impacted in North Trinidad, approximately 50 to 60 percent of those customers, at, as at 8 a.m. this morning, started to get their supply of water. Now, remember, the, the system remained dried for over three days during the, the restoration and the repair works. A lot of um, the storage reservoirs and people's tanks have been depleted, so the water coming back into the system, it is now filling those reservoirs and filling those tanks. The minister said it will take some time for the water pressure to build, for water to be restored to those still without a supply. Areas like Orupun Gardens, Val Saint, St. Joseph, Mount Hope, Saddle Road, Bagatelle, Lavantel Road, Trumacac, Santa Cruz, Barataria, Mova, East Rye River, Gonzales, Belmont, Port of Spain, St. James and Cascade were affected. Perhaps in Gonzales, in parts of Port of Spain, they would start getting their supply of water hopefully later on today and into tomorrow. So these things normally, when you have a major interruption like that, it takes like about 48 to 72 hours for the system to be normalized and for customers to start getting their water.